So I'm on AT&T's prepaid plan. And so what I have here is a GoPhone SIM card. And yes, you can use prepaid with iPhone. Yeah, I just have to set up the APN settings. And I'll put a link in the description on how to do that. Uh, now, I don't want to use the SIM that came with the, uh, the iPhone 5. I want to use my own SIM and use my own phone number and everything like that. So I've got to cut this down. And I'm going to do it sort of the old-fashioned, brutal way. I might regret this. I might not. I think I can do it right. So what you're going to need to do this is a razor blade. Yep, you know where this is going. You're going to need a straight edge to get a nice even cut. You're also going to need some sandpaper. This is 180 grit. You want to go with 180 or higher. Somewhere around 240 would be ideal because actually, and this is going to be an interesting experiment, I must say, the nano sim is less thick than the micro sim. So we're going to have to shave off about a quarter of a millimeter. It's, it's possible that it will fit in there at the same width, but who knows? So let's start this. Okay, so I don't cut my desk here. I'm going to put a piece of paper underneath of the sim here. And again, this might not work, okay? This is a bit of an experiment, but I did this before actually. This used to be a regular sim and I cut it to a micro sim and it worked just fine. And you know, the theory here is that this is just this with less plastic. So what I'm gonna do is kind of size this up and determine how much plastic I need to cut off. And it looks like I literally need to go come right within that golden contact. So I'm gonna take my straight edge here and let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And you might even see me cut my finger off if you're lucky. And I'm gonna go right into the edge. I definitely don't wanna cut off the gold contacts. And I'm gonna hold this down pretty tough. And now I'm going to score this. I only wanna score it. I don't wanna cut it all the way through because I'm gonna, and as you can see, if you don't hold it down enough, this might be a disaster. If you don't hold it down enough, it's gonna move. So you wanna press real hard on that. Come in here, kinda, Gently rub the blade against it a few times. And don't stab yourself with the razor blade. Okay, and success, I got the right side nice and tightly uh, cut around uh, the plastic. And now what I'm gonna do is just go around the other edges. I need to take some off the top and then it should fit. Uh, and then I'm gonna have to sand it, of course, and I might need to round the edges just a little bit. But again, I'll be back after I do the top and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Okay, so after many minutes of finagling, sanding, and cutting, I finally got my what once was a micro sim into a nano sim shape. It's pretty much identical, but now I need to shave off a tiny bit uh, from the top of the card because it's not fitting into the iPhone 5. Because like I mentioned, the nano sim, if you can see it, is slightly, slightly thinner. So I'm just going to take some sandpaper here and just uh, give it a few kind of movements along the sandpaper, and I'm gonna keep doing it until it fits. Okay, so I shaved off, um, not that much actually, and you can see I kinda shaved off the word um, go phone, and guess what? It works, it fits. So that is how you cut a micro sim into a nano sim, and you might be wondering, what if you wanna go back the other way? Well, I've got here a nano sim to micro sim adapter, and it was actually pretty cheap. It was about seven or eight bucks, and, you know, it's a, it's a good thing to have on hand in case you change phones and you decide to go to a phone with a micro sim. I'll put a link in the description on how to get this. Hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Please give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.